So before I got a lathe, I used to make all my knobs on the drill press. It was the only uh, method I had of making an appropriate shaped shaker knob. The only really critical part to making a knob is turning the tenon. A half inch tenon has to fit in a half inch hole. So I made a little jig to fit under the drill press, something that holds the blank upright. What I would do is draw a diagonal from corner to corner so I could find the center of the blank and center it underneath so that the brad point would hit the bullseye right in the middle of the blank. And then I would clamp the jig to the table and start drilling with a half inch tenon cutter. Now you'll want to go with a tenon cutter roughly between 1,000 and 2,000 RPM. Once that's done, I wander over to the bandsaw and again I make myself a little jig, clamp the jig in place and then make four cuts all the way around and that sleeve will just drop off and you've basically done the hardest part which is getting all of your tenons the same diameter. After we're done with the bandsaw, I go over to the bench, take a chisel and just knock the four corners off. It makes the next couple of steps a little easier. After we've knocked the corners off, it's back to the drill press. Chuck it in place, leave about a quarter to three-eighths of an inch of shaft exposed so that we can still get a, a flat file in there. And this time I'll increase the speed for turning. You want to go as fast as possible and the top speed on my drill press is about 5,000. And start with a coarse rasp to get it nice and round. A coarse rasp first and then a coarse file to get it nice and smooth and then you should have a nice clean cylinder with no facets left on it. And it's going to be uh, roughly an inch in diameter. Then I'll take a pencil and mark the location of the mushroom itself, which is between two-thirds and three-quarters of the way down. And I use a half-inch rat tail rasp, relatively coarse. With that rasp, I'll probably go to about a half-inch, which is the same diameter as the shaft. And then I'll use a smaller round rasp, a little finer one, 5 sixteenths to a quarter of an inch, and get a little bit more of the final shape. Your smallest diameter wants to be right underneath the, the mushroom head, and then it'll sort of taper up to the shoulder. And then lastly, I will take a flat rasp, again relatively coarse, and shape the mushroom itself. It wants to be really nice and round, not too flat. Get it to the rough shape desired, and then you can use a file to take some of the scratch marks off. While you're at it, you can also file the vertical section of the shoulder. And then I will use a small flat file to actually do the shoulder itself so that when you drive the knob home, you have a nice flush fit all the way around. After all the filing and rasping is done, I'll go to some coarse sandpaper. Usually I keep some used sanding belts around. I'll just tear a little piece off. You can start with an 80 grit, and that will uh, smooth things out, but still leave a lot of scratches. And then I'll go to a 150 and really work the small diameter underneath the mushroom. Then I will progress to uh, 220, and then we'll go on to 320, and then finally a bit of steel wool to really put a polish on it. You should end up with a really nice custom knob, and you didn't have to buy a lathe to do it.